Well, no question, we were awed last month by shuttle flights from the Kennedy Space Center to both Washington, D.C. and to New York City as the now retired space shuttles went to their retirement homes. Now, if we were awed, imagine what a former shuttle pilot felt as he watched. You want to know how he felt? Well, let's ask him. Meet Colonel Mike Mullane. Nice Hi, to see you. Good thank you so you. much for coming well, thank in. Thank you for the invite. Colonel Mullane is here because he is speaking to the Boy Power Dinner here in Syracuse tonight. So how did you feel seeing it fly one more time? I was act I actually flew on the very first flight of the Orbiter Discovery. Yeah. So uh, that was the one that was taken up to Washington, D.C. Yes. And I was at Kennedy Space Center watching it leave. And it, yeah. was, it was a poignant moment. It has to be yeah. kind of a heart wrench, it doesn't is. it? It is, it does. It, it, it really, really, really socks you that, hey, this vehicle took me into space and now it's in a museum and I guess I'm going to follow someday here <laughs> in a museum. It, it really does say the end of the program, which is kind of sad. I mean, uh, you know, we're not going into space that way for a while. It is. I, I, I am disheartened at the fact that uh, NASA's funding, and I realize the economic reality we're in, but the NASA's funding is so limited that there is no great thing following the shuttle like there has been in the past you know from uh to you know apollo to uh skylab to shuttle and now mm, yeah we don't have anything following that and that, that is that that does hurt now you are involved uh, very much in what we call the stem program which is young people getting them involved in in science and technology right stem stands for science uh, in science technology engineering and math and uh, the boy scouts uh, have a new award that is based uh, on on uh, work involving those areas and uh, they it's a it's something that I think is really critically important uh, for kids to get involved in those type of areas because this country in the future we depend so much on those areas science Absolutely. and technology so the more we can get kids excited about science and technology the better off for the for the economy and the future of the country and as I said the Boy Scouts are doing a great job of promoting that within their ranks. Okay well thank you so much for the preview and thank you so much for all that you've done well, for NASA. Well thank you very much Laura. Enjoy okay talking to you. and uh, the Boy Power Dinner is coming up tonight it is at the On Center I think they might still have a seat or two if you are interested. Um, again thanks for stopping by. Thank you Laura. And we'll be right back.